Hi again everyone, welcome to my channel. Another Yukon Bob video for you today on the Sea-Doo. It's gonna be a ride with the Sea-Doo Touring Group today and the ride is gonna be one that we've already done before. We did this one earlier in the season, but it's a repeat ride today. We're gonna to be on Georgian Bay, the waters of Georgian Bay. And the ride is from the southern end of Georgian Bay, Wabashine area is where we're putting in and we're gonna ride up to uh, Perry Sound, the famous home of the hockey player Bobby Orr. So that's the ride for today. It's about an hour and a half for me to get up there, then we'll be on the water. And uh, it's supposed to be nice calm winds today, a little cooler, maybe a high of 25 Celsius. So we will see you up in Wabashine and we'll be on the water for a full day ride today through the islands of Georgian Bay up towards Perry Sound. <laughs> well, it is a little bit cooler on the water. It's starting to feel like uh, towards the end of summer, even though it's still not quite the end of August. Uh, it's only probably 15, 16 degrees out here right now, so it's going to be a little bit of a, a cooler ride until that sun gets out a little bit more and it warms up today. But uh, it should be okay. I didn't bring any long pants, but I've got stuff for, you know, up top, longer shirts and stuff like that, but no long pants, so we'll see how that is. Highlight of the day, I think today is going to be lunch. Lunch is going to be at a place called Henry's Fish and Chips, which is on an island in Georgian Bay. I have never eaten there and I've heard a lot of things about it, so I'm looking forward to lunch later today at uh, Henry's Fish and Chips. Guys are just getting set up, putting their vessels in the water. We should be ready to go. Not sure how many we've got today, but we'll do a head count here in a little bit. Great. Don't screw it up, guys. You're on camera. I checked the plugs. The plugs are in. <laughs> <laughs> I should have brought some long pants today. <laughs> uh, I have extra. I don't know. I might need a pair. Oh, the geese are heading south. Yeah, I think we're going to be a fairly big group today. There could be, uh, I don't know, nine or ten machines out here today. We'll have to see. We'll have to do a count. There's still some more to go in the water. There's another one up over there yet. Where's my machine going? Try and put it in there. So I just had this little issue. It was right at the dock, just ready to head out, and the sea dew wouldn't start. Just nothing. I turned on the Garmin. And it had power, but no power to start the Sea-Doo. Put the key off and on from the fob a couple of times, tried it again, still wouldn't start. So pulled off the seats and had a look, and sure enough, the, uh, the negative post on the battery, the connector, was fairly loose. So we just tightened that up with a Phillips screwdriver, and uh, now it's working okay. So little things like that, you know, just uh, needed that Phillips screwdriver to tighten that terminal just a little bit, and now it starts okay. Hopefully no more problems here today. We're at Wabashin, which is an old Indian word that means Sidhu launching place. No, actually, I don't know what it means. Wabashin means something, but it's not that. <laughs> nice calm morning on the water. Gray sky. I think it's supposed to lift a bit a little later today. Hey, you can't mop, what's going on? Not much, Greg. Okay, so I just did a count and we are eight machines today. Eight machines on the water starting out. We'll see how many wind up at the end of the day. Seagulls just hanging out. It's a little narrow in here through some of these islands. When you've got boats coming the other way, they can throw off quite a chop so you get a little rough ride, particularly when there's six or seven sea dews kind of maneuvering in front of you. Stanley.
I think the new plan is from if I've got it right, Greg, we're gonna go to Perry Sound first and then go back to Henry's and have lunch after Perry Sound. Yeah, that's the plan. Because we'll be too early for Henry's now. Okay. You just have to sit there and wait. Why, they don't open till noon or something or? Oh, is that right? I could have flown the drone there though. Oh well. Okay, I've got three bars left. So this will be a bit of a test for me to see if I can get from Wabashine all the way to Perry Sound, one tank of gas. It's gonna be close. 26 miles to go. Lots of people are carrying extra fuel, so I'll be all right. say you just robbed the place but apparently you're just COVID savvy. <laughs> Put mine on, go up and pay. Yeah, go up and pay. <laughs> okay, so $66 was the damage for fuel. That's from Wabashine, the bottom end of Georgian Bay, all the way up to uh, Perry Sound. And I think I took 52 liters, which means I should have had about eight liters left in the tank, another 10, 11 miles. So, okay, you can go a ways. On the sea tank, once it says empty and it's beeping at you, I still had eight, nine liters left in that tank. I don't know if you can make this out or not, but the guy is still filling that boat out there and the gas total now is $1,246.958 liters it's taken so far. The numbers are just rolling up. He has three tanks on there and he's already up to $1,250 in fuel. <laughs> and she's still fueling. Hopefully that's the third and final tank. You can do uh, charters out of here. How you doing? Thanks, man. <laughs> Somebody just recognized me from the channel. Yukon Bob, they said. Yep, they watch all the videos. So here's the Island Queen that runs throughout uh, all these islands around here out of Georgian Bay. Looks like it's just getting ready to, to head out, load it up. I think it's about a three hour run they go on, something like that. I've done the trip, it's kind of a nice trip. Oh man, I can smell the, uh, the french fries or the hamburgers over there. It smells good. So we're gonna make our way now back to Henry's Fish and Chips, which is another hour or so or 45 minutes out of here and have lunch uh, at Henry's place I've always wanted to eat and I've never eaten there just because one time I went there and it wasn't open and I think another time I ended up eating just before I got there so by the time I got there I wasn't really hungry but today it's going to be uh, pickerel I think it's about 26 bucks I think for the pickerel lunch there but I gotta have it at least once Cheers, everybody. Battered pickerel. Cheers. Even when we try to lose Bob, he still shows up. <laughs> they lost me for about a 20 minutes out there, but I was already here. We got separated a bit. But I put on the map and found my way here. So this is what the fish looks like after all that talk about uh, how great Henry's is. Three pieces of pickerel, battered. You get a little bit of coleslaw, some beans. I assume those are homemade. And it comes in a wooden box right now. Not a wooden box, a cardboard box. And everybody pretty much, who had the chicken? Paul did. Paul did. Paul had the chicken, but everybody else had the pickerel. Gotta so, be the odd guy. Yeah. You gotta be the that's pretty guy. good. Three big pieces of battered pickerel. And how much is it? 26? 26 bucks. 26 dollars Canadian. That's like three dollars American. <laughs> so a little bit of a situation on this trip. If you might remember from all of my videos, Yukon Bob videos, I've always worn my red 
<clears throat> baseball cap. Well, I lost it on this trip. I had it on the handlebar of the sea -Doo, and the next thing I know, I was heading down the lake, and I looked down, and it was not there. So I have now lost that. I think it was a, a Barbados rum or something, Jamaican rum. I can't even remember what it was now, but I'm gonna have to get myself another red hat, because that's sort of my signature, the red hat. Now it's gone. Blew right off the handlebar. Anyway, not the end of the world, but I've had that a long time. It's been in the lake a bunch of times and I've always gone back and retrieved it, but not this time, it's now gone. So that's lunch at Henry's, excellent. Now we're gonna make a couple of trips. If there's a place we're gonna go have ice cream, <laughs> apparently at Woods, Woods Bay Marina, and then start to make our way back. So I have got a son who is uh, currently in Moncton, New Brunswick. And what's he doing there? Well, he is in flight school. He is learning to become a commercial pilot. He's uh, been there for, you know, five, six, seven months now. And I think we should buy him this plane right here. Doesn't that look like a beautiful aircraft? I'm not sure what that is, if that's a 180, 185, 182, I don't know. But I think it's got the turboprop on it on floats what a beautiful aircraft that is i really like that one and then there's another one back here right behind it from georgian airways that's a station uh station air 206 so that's a little bigger plane but this one here gorgeous aircraft wonder how much that is it's a cessna obviously it's a 180 i think A little waterfall up here at the end of uh, Woods Bay. Well, I don't think I'll put the drone in the air today. I'm with the group and that'll take a little time. And I'm not sure they really have the patience for that, so I'll probably just get up here as close as I can, get a couple of shots for you. If you remember the video from a couple of episodes back, the last time I was out here, there was a boat out there that was stranded. We had to hook a rope onto it and tow that boat in. That was just outside the Woods Bay Marina. This is the uh, Woods Bay Marina. We're gonna top up with gas here because we won't make it all the way back, at least I won't, without a little additional gas, so. Fuel dock is over here. We can fill her up. Yeah. All you guys need it? Yeah. And all separately? Yeah. Okay. How much is fuel here? It's 155 a liter. 155. Is that premium? Yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to buy this bay and put up a big sign no sea dews allowed. Yeah. What a pretty little spot. Did you think it went through? No, 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 we've been coming here for 15 uh, years. Yeah, it's a nice spot. And then if someone brings beer, <laughs> sit on that rock. That rock right there? Yep, have a beer. <laughs> what happened to that tradition? The, the beer tradition? Uh, I didn't bring the beers. <laughs> I didn't get the memo. It's Alzheimer's. Well, that is it, guys. Thanks for coming along on another Yukon Bob adventure. We left at about uh, 9 o'clock this morning. It's uh, almost 6 o'clock, and we're just back at Wabashing now. Great day on the water today on Georgian Bay. Uh, fairly smooth most of the way. Eight of us started, eight of us finished. That's the good news. Thanks for coming along on another Yukon Bob adventure, and we will see you guys on the next one. <laughs>